equilibrium of rigid body try this question yourself when you have done it then watch the clip step 1 we resolve it vertically so the force acting up is R and the force is acting downwards 50G plus 30G so that's equal to 80G then we resolve it horizontally so force acting to the left and to the right so that's force equal F then F we know is equal to the coefficient of fraction times R so that's 0 0.3 times 80 G so that's 24 G and then we're going to resolve it about the point B sorry not resolve it take the moment so take the moment about the point B so we work out the anti-clockwise anti-clockwise moment come from this so this is the action line and this is the perpendicular distance so the weight is 50 G then we call this BC length to the X that's the hypotenuse then we want the adjacent length so which is X times cosine 60 plus the weight which is 30 G and the distance up to there is 3 then this length here is 3 times cosine 60 Now this is equal to the clockwise moment. So this is the distance, this is the action force line. So this distance same is here. So S which is 24G times 6 sine 60 so cosine 60 is half half times 50 is 25 gx so that's half times 3 1.5 times 30 is 45 g equal to 24 times 9.8 times 6 times 6 sine 60 you get from the calculator 1 2 2 point 1, then we subtract 45 G from both sides 25 GX is equal to 381.1 then divide by 25g we get x to be 3.19 so therefore the distance BC is equal to 3.19 meters 